This week, McDonald's launches a vegan McFlurry, China bans wild animal meat, and Serena Williams brings vegan leather to her spring fashion collection. All this and more on Live Kindly's weekly vegan news. If you're new to our channel, you can subscribe by hitting the leaf icon in the bottom right corner of the video. Click the bell icon to turn on notifications, and please be sure to like and comment below. China's top legislature has announced an immediate ban on the trade and consumption of wild animals. Chinese authorities have said the wild animals are the potential intermediate hosts of the coronavirus. It says that the fast-track decision will help the country fight the coronavirus outbreak. The National People's Congress made the decision. It stipulates that the illegal consumption and trade of wild animals will be severely punished. The coronavirus has killed more than 3,300 and infected more than 100,000 people so far. Experts suspect the disease may have originated from the wild animal trade. Some of the earliest infections are believed to have come from the Huanan Seafood Wholesale Market in the city of Wuhan, China. The market sold animals including bats, snakes, and civets. Traders legally selling wild animal meat told Reuters that they plan to continue business as usual as soon as the markets reopened. There has been a growing concern among people over the consumption of wild animals and the hidden dangers it brings to public health security since the novel coronavirus disease outbreak, said Zhang Taiwei, a spokesman for the top legislature's Legislative Affairs Commission. Japanese multinational conglomerate SoftBank Group Corp will invest in Latin American vegan food tech companies this year. Although SoftBank Group hasn't announced which companies it will invest in, Chile-based startup Notco is a possible contender. Notco uses artificial intelligence software called Giuseppe, which analyzes foods at a molecular level. From there, it determines the ideal ingredients for creating vegan versions of animal-based foods. Last March, Notco received a $30 million investment from The Craftery, a fund created by Italian businessman Elio Leone Shetty and Bezos Expeditions. Notco currently makes a chickpea-based vegan mayonnaise, plant-based milk, and dairy-free ice cream. The investment is part of SoftBank Group's goal to invest $1 billion in Latin American companies. Last year, it launched the $500 million SoftBank Innovation Fund. It also invested around $1 billion into Rappi, a Colombian delivery app. Brazil and Argentina appear to be ideal markets as well. Last year, a survey conducted by the Institute for the Promotion of Beef found that 60% of Argentinians are considering going vegan due to rising meat prices. Many national dishes are centered around meat, including blood sausage, chorizo, steak, and ribs. By 2020, Notco hopes to launch plant-based ground meat and sausage, which could appeal to consumer preferences. Coming up, IKEA launches vegan red velvet muffins. Tennis star Serena Williams is one of the greatest players to ever play the game. She's won the second most Grand Slam titles for a woman ever, at 23 and counting. And she's not done yet. The mom to two and a half year old Alexis Olympia is also a fashion icon. I have been doing fashion since 2000. I, that's when I went to school. Um, so I've been doing this a really long time, more than people actually realize, which why I think it was important for me to sit down and have this different format of a fashion show. So it takes a lot of time and a lot of dedication. And although some things and some companies might pop overnight, um, that's such a small percentage, um, but it takes a lot of work and you, nothing can replace hard work. And she took to New York Fashion Week earlier this month to launch her newest S by Serena collection, which includes vegan leather. Williams says the new collection is a fashion passport. She was inspired by her travels around the world, in particular by her visits to the African continent. That's where I got the giraffe print from, she told Essence. I just feel like giraffe is the new leopard. I mean, at least I'm trying to make it the new leopard. Williams told Vogue about her favorite design. I am loving it. Williams also says she was extremely motivated to include vegan leather in this collection. I feel like a lot of things are being killed and we're not saving the earth, she said. We can all just do one small thing and help out, so that was also a lot of our inspiration. Swedish furniture giant IKEA now sells vegan red velvet muffins. No assembly required. The new muffin builds on IKEA's commitment to expand its vegan and sustainable food offerings. Some of IKEA's other vegan options include gummy sweets, strawberry soft serve, and oat smoothies. 
In 2018, IKEA launched a veggie hot dog in its European and US bistros. The veggie dogs are made from a blend of kale, carrots, red lentils, and ginger. IKEA developed the veggie hot dog as a sustainable alternative to its meat hot dogs. Every year, 660 million people enjoy the IKEA food offer, and we see this global reach as an opportunity, as well as a responsibility to serve food that is good for people and the planet. Michael LaCour, Managing Director at IKEA Food Services AB, said in a press release. And he said the chain hopes to inspire and enable customers looking for a quick, tasty bite to choose a plant-based, more sustainable option at an affordable price. Coming up. Ricky Gervais supports Esther the Wonder Pig. McDonald's Germany has launched a vegan McFlurry. The new vegan option, which can be ordered in select stores using the app, consists of strawberry sorbet. It can be topped with Oreo pieces, which are also vegan. The sorbet can also be ordered as a McSunday. Last year, McDonald's Germany launched the Big Vegan TS. The menu option features Nestle's plant-based Incredible Burger, mustard, ketchup, onions, tomatoes, and greens. To avoid contamination with animal fat, the burger is cooked on a separate grill. Nestle's Europe chief executive told CNBC last year, McDonald's is an exciting and big customer, but it is not the only option, and we have quite a good capacity to cope with a possible extension beyond Germany. McDonald's isn't alone in upping its vegan options. Earlier this year, KFC launched vegan chicken burgers in all of its locations across the UK and added nuggets in the US. Burger King also launched the Impossible and Rebel Whoppers. Wait, plant what, what are you talking about? No animals, just plants. Really? <laughs> this is a f***ing cow. <laughs> no f***ing cow. Earlier this month, fast food chain White Castle added dairy-free cheese options to its slider menus. But the McFlurry marks a milestone for fast food chains capitalizing on the growing interest in dairy-free options. It's the first to offer a non-dairy frozen dessert. Major ice cream brands including Ben & Jerry's, Haagen-Dazs, and Halo Top have all launched dairy-free options in recent years. If you've ever wanted to have a beer with comedian Ricky Gervais, now's your chance. Sort of. Who wants a beer? Who wants a beer? Vancouver-based beer company Parallel 49 launched a fundraiser to support Esther the Wonder Pig thanks to comedian and actor Ricky Gervais. The company says it will donate a portion of the proceeds of its Ruby Tears beer to the famous pig. Last month, a fan tweeted Gervais to ask him what his favorite beer is. Gervais responded by professing his love for the Parallel 49's Gypsy Tears Ruby Ale, now called Ruby Tears. I remember thinking Gypsy's Tears in Vancouver was the best I'd ever tasted, the comedian tweeted. The beer company temporarily re-renamed Ruby Tears to Ricky's Tears on its taproom menu board. Parallel 49 then announced on social media it would launch a fundraiser to support an animal welfare organization of Gervais's choosing. We would like to donate 25 cents per pint of Ruby Tears and one dollar from the sale of each six-pack province-wide to an animal charity of his choosing. Gervais responded by nominating the Happily Ever Esther Farm Sanctuary in Ontario, Canada. Esther the Wonder Pig is the sanctuary's most famous resident, as well as the reason for its creation. Alaska Airlines will discontinue its support of the Iditarod trail sled dog race after more than 40 years. The move comes after years of pressure from animal rights organization PETA. The victory was achieved only after the airline heard from nearly 100,000 PETA supporters, met with our representatives, and faced protests outside its corporate headquarters, PETA said in a statement. People have been um, shocked and horrified to learn that five dogs, Groovy, Flash, Deacon, Schilling and Smoke, tragically lost their lives all in the span of one week at last year's Iditarod. I saw a lot of dogs being brutalized and um, I, you know, I had to come, I had to stand for them, I had to let the people know, the public know what really goes on behind sled dog operations. Uh, people only see the beginning and end of the Iditarod, they don't see what goes on in between. The Iditarod is Alaska's most iconic sporting event. It is an annual long-distance sled dog race that starts in Anchorage and ends in Nome. Alaska Airlines joins a long list of companies that have cut ties with the Iditarod. Other companies include Jack Daniels, Coca-Cola, Costco, State Farm, Wells Fargo, Nestle, and Pizza Hut. 
The head of the UK's National Farmers Union says vegan Hollywood celebrities are hurting the meat industry. Manette Batters, president of the NFU, singled out Joaquin Phoenix for harming the well-being of UK's meat producers following Phoenix's dramatic Oscars speech. She said UK farmers were stressed and anxious and in fear of losing their livelihoods. Batters made the comments at the union's annual conference. Celebrities have to be careful. There are real-life consequences for others, she said. Joaquin Phoenix, he's had a really challenging life, and you really feel for him in a lot of the things he was saying. But he has to remember there are people at the end of this. There are small family farms and they get hurt too, she added. In his Oscar speech, Phoenix called out the dairy industry. What we're guilty of is an egocentric worldview, the belief that we're the center of the universe. We go into the natural world and we plunder it for its resources. We feel entitled to artificially inseminate a cow. And when she gives birth, we steal her baby. Even though her cries of anguish are unmistakable. And then we take her milk that's intended for a calf and we put it in our coffee and our cereal. Batter said farmers were incredibly upset. They feel victims and they feel like they haven't got a voice. They want it to stop. We're all humans. We've got to be kind. We've got to look out for each other. Some farmers agree with Phoenix's sentiments though. David Finley, an organic dairy farmer in Scotland, penned an op-ed in which he said farmers could learn a lot from vegans. Talking with people from outside our bubble challenges our assumptions and provokes us into doing better, he wrote. That's it for today. How do you feel about Joaquin Phoenix's speech? Let us know in the comments below. As always, remember to subscribe and hit the notification bell. We'll see you again next week for Live Kindly's weekly vegan news.